Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing here? I'm just a chicken. <laughs> I was just trying to fend off zombies. <laughs> Is that you, Ivan? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, while we're both here, welcome to this edition of Take 5. I'm Stephanie Wong, and today we have our chicken here. <laughs> My name is Ivan Ramirez, and I'm a customer engineer here with Google Cloud. Awesome. So, Ivan, you know what the deal is. we got to do demos in five minutes. What are you going to show us today? Great. So today I want to talk about uh, Cloud Data Proc, which is a managed Hadoop and Spark service in Google Cloud. Okay? okay, cool. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. We got five minutes. All right. So as we all know, Hadoop is basically a distributed computing system that's used in the industry for data analytics, machine learning, among many other services. So what I want to show you today is actually how to spin up Hadoop clusters in GCP in three ways, through the web interface, through the command line, and also through the API. So let's jump right in. First, here we are in the Google Cloud platform. And we'll go to the burger menu and select Cloud Data Proc. And of course, we are already here. We'll click Create Cluster, and it takes us to a very, very simple menu to go ahead and deploy our clusters. For this demo, we'll call our cluster Cluster Web UI. We'll pick a region. Since we're in the West Coast, we'll go ahead and pick US West 1. And the zone, we'll pick US West 1C. Then here, we'll, we're presented with a lot of different options. First, we define what kind of a Hadoop cluster we want to uh, spin up. We can spin up a single master, a master with any number of nodes, or a triple master, any number of node configuration for high availability. For the sake of this demo, we're just going to spin up a standard uh, cluster. And then we get to define two things. First, the master node configuration, and this is uh, essentially the, the type of machine that we're going to use for our master node. And then our worker nodes, which is, again, the type of machine that we're going to use for our worker nodes. And then we simply click Create, and that's pretty much it. And this is great, because if you were to have to install Hadoop by yourself, you have to worry about configuring or provisioning the master node, the worker nodes, setting up the different networking configurations, which can really be a pain. Google Cloud makes it so that you can do all of that with a couple clicks with no problem at all. Now, as it's loading up, I do want to show you something. If we go back to the console and go to Google Compute Engine, we'll actually see the master and worker uh, compute engine uh, instances already spin up. And you can actually have access, direct access to the master by clicking that SSH button here, which will open an SSH window into the master node so you can send commands. But why do, why do that when you can do something easier? Let's go to Cloud Data Proc real quick. Cloud Data Proc, we see our cluster spinning up. We can actually submit jobs to this cluster. Here we have a job that I submitted just a second ago. Go ahead and delete that and submit a brand new one. So you don't even need to log into the SSH in that machine in order to be able to submit a job. To submit a job, you select the region in which your cluster's in. Our cluster is in US West 1, and we'll see our cluster there. Very good. And the type of job that we want to demo today will be a simple Spark job. So here I have some files prepped in order to set it up. We'll define the main class, we'll define the number of arguments, and then we'll define where that jar file is for this demo. So we'll go ahead and submit. And essentially what we're doing now is that we're sending the Spark job to um, our Hadoop cluster. Very interesting. So let's just go ahead and click on one that we have already done. Uh, and here we'll be able to see that we were able to calculate the digits of pi. Let's see, where is it? There we go. Pi is roughly, and they calculated, I don't know, 12 digits wow. at some decimal point. If yeah. only we could only always have Spark clusters to <laughs> help answer any of our trivial mathematics questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was a really simple example of how to spin up a Hadoop cluster using the web fly. Now I want to show you guys how easy it is to actually do it through the command line. And why it's interesting to do it in the command line is because if you can do it through the command line, you can also write scripts, and then scripts help you automate your systems, right? So again, uh, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have a little cheat sheet over here. For the command line, the command to spin up a cluster using the command line tool, which is simply gcloud data proc cluster. Oh, and I forgot. It's a little misspelled over here. Got to fix the quotes. And you'll notice that this time, I'm naming my cluster cluster CLI to symbolize that it's the command line tool that's actually spinning up this cluster. And that's pretty much it. Now, if we refresh the page, you'll actually see a brand new Hadoop cluster spinning up with that simple one-liner. Okay, And just like we did with the Web UI tool, we can submit jobs to uh, this new cluster either by using the Web tool or by using the command line tool as well. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you is actually a product that we have in beta. Uh, it's uh, a widely available beta, so you can actually try it out as well. But it is the ability to edit files within uh, the command line tool. And you do that by using this little uh, launch code editor here. And here, I've actually created a Python file 
that will automatically spin up a Hadoop cluster within GCP. And this is essentially showing us the ability to call upon the Dataproc API in order to launch um, a Hadoop cluster. So you'll see within this code, we've actually defined a couple of parameters. Not only do we define our project ID, our cluster name, but we also define the master configuration. So how many masters we want to have on what type of machines they use, as well as the work configuration and what uh, number of machines they use there as well. Okay. And the way that you call this script is very simple. First, you need to authenticate into the project. Uh, and in order to authenticate, you simply need to install the Google auth uh, script, which I'll go ahead and launch. And then after you've authenticated, you simply call on that Python file. So Python create, and we should be able to spin up another cluster using uh, this Python script, which is basically calling on our APIs. And if we go back to the console refresh, we should see three clusters, one spun up by the web UI, one spun up by the uh, command line tool, and the last one spun up by our API. And that's pretty much it. Nice, good job. Yeah, thank you. We went through all three so quickly. Um, I'm gonna count that as challenge completed. <laughs> We're just really going to assume that it was be within five minutes, but it's OK. Yeah, it's a lot of information. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much, Ivan. Uh, next time, maybe we'll be different animals, and the apocalypse will be over for me. We'll find out. <laughs> All right. Thanks. See ya.